Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to try to make diamine dichloropalladium 2 um, which according to pictures I've seen online is a pretty orange compound. That sounds like fun so we'll do that. I was torn between doing this compound and um, potassium thiopalladite which would be, well, it's on the screen there. You can see the formula for it. But the way I see it, you know, push comes to shove. We could always drop out, you know, uh, palladium monosulfide, which is required for making potassium thiopalladite from um, diamine dichloropalladium too, if we want to. So, or I've got more palladium that I could just convert into palladium dichloride dihydrate and use it from that if I decide that I want to actually keep this stuff. What I have here is 1.8 grams of palladium dichloride dihydrate in how many mils is this? Uh, 210 mils of water. I've got it in a graduated cylinder like this because I'm going to bubble ammonia gas through this. I am out of aqueous ammonia. If I had aqueous ammonia, I could have just combined the um, palladium dichloride dihydrate with water. It drops out this, like a light brown precipitate. I don't know. Atomistry said it was flesh colored. I, I mean, it. modern people absolutely would look at that and say, yes, that is a flesh tone. I'm not sure what some European scientist writing, you know, about a century ago would have, I, I don't know, you know, usually I'm looking for a, something that's, I don't know, more peachy than brown in that case, but I don't know, I guess that it works. Beats me. I hate it when they're so vague with their descriptions like that. I mean, flesh color could be, <laughs> that's a huge range of fucking colors. Anyway. So what we're going to do, I've got the ammonia generator set up here. I am simply going to bubble ammonia gas through this until we have a solution of diamine dichloropalladium 2. Then Atomistry says that we need to dilute it in a large volume of water and acidulate it with hydrochloric acid. I love old-timey chemistry speak. It's so cool. Um, that just means we're going to dilute it with water and acidify it with HCl. And that should drop out our product from solution. Again, Atomistry, you know, they're nice and vague, but they have led us to success many, many times in the past, so we will trust them and soldier on. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so this stuff presented me with a bit of a mystery here. I bubbled ammonia through it. It gave me a precipitate, like Adam Mystery said. Kept bubbling ammonia through it. Precipitate dissolved. But then I got this dark brownish red stuff here at the bottom. At first, I, I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Then when my strike on YouTube finally ran up, I posted a picture of this and, you know, put out a call for help. Like, okay, you know, I, I, does anybody know what the hell this stuff is doing? Hyperscience replied with, um, you know, the Russian version of the diamine dichloropalladium to Wikipedia page. I, I, I clearly I need to look at more chemical pages um, from Wikipedia in Russian because my God, this thing had all the fucking answers that I was looking for. 
<laughs> I tell you what, man. What is it with Russians and chemistry? Like, half the fucking people we talk about in the organic lecture are Russian. Half the terms are, you know, named after Russian people. What, what Russians and chemistry apparently just go together in ways that I did not fully appreciate. Anyway, uh, so what looks like this might be, what might have happened, is uh, I added too much ammonia because diamine dichloropalladium-2 will react with ammonia to form tetraamine dichloropalladium-2. I think that might be what this is. Um, at first, I thought that it might be, oh god, cis. One is stable, one is not. Cis diamine dichloropalladium 2 is not stable. And it's like a yellowish brown compound. But the trans one is orange, and it is stable. Um, so, I thought it might be that. But this stuff is so alkaline from all the ammonia that I just kept bubbling into this fucker hoping it would dissolve that I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, reading the rest of the page and all the various reactions of diamine dichloropalladium 2, I think that if we just acidify this fucker with some HCl, we might be able to drop out the stable orange isomer of our product and um, go on with our lives and I can quit trying to figure, make this fucking thing work, man. Y'all just don't know. I mean, like, between, like, you know, working, I have been working on this fucking thing now for over a week. God, this has been a pain in my ass. Anyway, so let's see what HCL does for us. Okay, well, this is curious. After I dumped it out and started stirring it, it almost looks like everything's gone into solution. This stuff is really fucking weird. Well, here goes nothing, people. We're going to add some HCl to this and see if we cannot get the stable isomer of this stuff to drop out. Okay, so, um, I really wish I kept the camera going. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out whether or not I had added enough HCl. I, I mean, I had added so much, man. I didn't think my ammonia generator was that efficient. It's also very hard to tell because, um... Ammonia and water get very horny for each other, and when you try to bubble ammonia through water, the bubbles disappear before they even make it to the surface. All you can hear is this noise. You know that something's happening, but it's really hard to tell just by looking how much is getting in, it dissolved. Anyway, um, so I just, finally what I had to do was smell it. I smelled it, and I'm like, I can still smell am an ammonia smell. So if I can smell an ammonia smell, this shit is still alkaline because the pH papers, it, it's clearly reacting with something in it, man. I don't know. I didn't trust the results that I was getting. It, I, I was dubious. Um, I don't know. Maybe it had formed a buffered solution. Maybe that's what was happening there. I don't know. That's another possibility. I have to think about that some more. That just occurred to me. Um...
But anyway, so I finally decided to add more in there, and what do you know, it dropped right the fuck out. This is much more in line with what I saw online. Um, I don't know which isomer this is. I mean, is this yellow-brown or is this orange? I don't know. I don't care. We got an isomer of it. I am reasonably certain this is correct. I mean, it's insoluble. It's about the right color. We added enough HCl in there to get it right. It's not a light yellow, which is what um, Wikipedia says we would get if we had added too much and this had actually reacted with the HCl, at least if I'm reading this right. I think this is it. I think we have succeeded. Fucking merry goddamn Christmas. Thank you, chem gods. <laughs> Damn. And that's, yes, thank you. I'm like, there has to be a good bit of this shit in there because I used almost two grams of palladium dichloride dihydrate. Oh, it's so pretty. Yay, it worked. I'm a happy poor man's chemist now. God damn, took long enough. Oh, d bitch, is there something that's a different color settling on on top? There's some yellow shit settling on that, man. Uh, you whore. You better not fuck up, okay? Man, is that what I'm seeing here? I'm gonna be really pissed off with you if, if, if you keep on doing this shit, okay? Listen, you. Well, holy butt-fucking shit, people. Would you look at that? I filtered it off, and it is kind of a mostly, well, it is kind of a brownish yellow. So I guess that's good. Um, hey, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> I'm very curious to see what it's going to look like when it's dry. It filtered extremely easily. That's something, and we have a nice yellow solution here. That's pretty. I guess I'll save that to be recycled, since, I, I mean, I don't know. I'll probably just end up using this in that um, next palladium prep that I'd like to do, of the potassium thiopalladite. Um, that's another one from Out of Mystery. It sounds kind of cool. Could be fun. So, yay! Well, I'll dry this, and then I'll I'll come back, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll wrap this up. All right, everyone. There is our stuff. It's looking pretty orange to me. I think everything went as it was supposed to. I tell you what, man. This should not have been this difficult. If anybody else wants to make this stuff, I guess you know what not to do. <laughs> Although we got to see some interesting stuff along the way. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, whatever. Subscribe, comment, share the video. Maybe donate a few dollars if you can. And until the next one, you guys, I will see you later.